Hello and welcome to Chromeillusion.com. I'm Stephen Burns and I'm excited to introduce to you Jovian Color Picker. And you can access it at JoviancolorPicker.com. This is going to revolutionize the way that you're going to be utilizing color in your own designs. Go to your downloads page to download it and you'll notice that currently it's compatible with Windows only. Now the Mac version is currently being developed so please check back here um, to find out, uh, get, get updates as to when that will be coming. Now currently Jovian is, works very well with three different programs. Photoshop, Lightwave 3D, and Blender 3D which you can access that at blender.org. Okay so Go over to your downloads page, download it, install it onto your system. And what you're going to see is that uh, once it's installed, you'll see it in your programs file, activate it. This is going to sit in your system tray. Once in your system tray, Jovian will now take over your current color picking system in Photoshop. And I'm going to use Photoshop as an example for this particular tutorial. Okay, so let's go access Photoshop and discover how the interface works and how this is really going to benefit you as a designer and artist. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's go show you how to bring Jovian to light here. Just simply select on your foreground color and you saw automatically Jovian takes over your color picker and replaces it with this very sophisticated interface. Alright, so I'm going to I can drag over here. I'm currently in my hue in my value system. Let's go to the hue. Hue, saturation and value. You can view your color in any of these particular presets. Or we can or we can view them in individual color, red color space, or green color space or blue color space. All right. And I'm going to go to hue here. So this is what we're familiar with in Photoshop. And of course our linear rainbow this is basically a color wheel we have the linear color wheel and then we have the circular color wheel right next to one another currently I have custom selected in terms of the color that I'm choosing and I have a a, a maximum of four in this particular instance but let's go down to custom right down right down over in here now see I can just click right over here and it's going to I can do it manually or just click anywhere and this will follow my click of my mouse. Now, go to the custom, select complementary. So whichever color we have selected, it's going to give us our complements. Analogous, it's going to give us analogous colors. Now you notice they're showing right down here on your color gradient bar. Let's go to our triadic and this is going to be giving us our primary colors red green and blue and if we move this to their adjacent which is our secondary colors of cyan magenta and yellow and of course it's showing up right down in here how about tetratic okay we also have we custom we already saw what about tints and shades where I can select any particular hue or tint and it's going to give us the shade of that tint from a bright white, your various shades of gray, until it becomes absolutely black over here to our right. All right, so now right below here, we can change how many colors that we get to see on our little gradient bar. Colors are currently seven, and I can click and hold and drag it, and we can go up to 11, or click and hold and drag it, and go down as, as few as three. Okay, so it's all it's all up to you. Now let's look, let's bring our attention right down here to the center portion. As I've already talked about, we have our various options which to view our color. The LAB mode and the CMYK mode is not yet available, but is also being currently developed, and that's to be coming soon. And we have our Kelvin temperature, our wave, and our web hexadecimal. Okay, pretty nice. Now this is pretty fun down here. I can mix colors. It's basically called a color mixer. And I can slide this and add more red or take away more red to the current color that's selected. Add more green or take away more take away the green completely. Add more blue or take away the blue. Okay. Very, very nice little feature. 
right over here we can we can view our standard color picker where we can pick individual color swatches all right now here's something kind of fun also let's go to presets and I can presets for blues showing here let's go select select a preset for the greens and this is going to be self-explanatory as well as a preset for the reds now next is going to be the fun part which is the pick from image command I'm going to select the pick from image and it's going to ask me to navigate to what image I want to choose and it gives you a bunch of images already so how about if I just choose one and open it up and there's an image and I can just select around and grab a color anywhere on this particular image and simply choose select and that color is there let's actually do a photograph let's go pick from image and load the image and how about if I go to my pictures here's some nice pretty little flowers off my Windows operating system and I can select and it's showing me right there in a magnified color picker right over there what color I'm selecting I'm going to choose it now I can look at the top here I can pixel with three three, three by three five by five um, I can do a sampling of one click or I can do more and where I can click several various clicks up to as many clicks as I choose and I can make these clicks that I've played down random or even very very nice and it lays it out right there okay and I can even say okay let's accept that there alright very very nice okay now here's a fun little feature called library we, we select it let's open it now watch what happens when I um, click the foreground color here it's going to give you depending on the color you select it's going to give you all the different variations it's a search box it's going to search on all the different variations based on that color and I'm going to pull this on down you can see all the different variations of colors that's in my color library so if I go over here to the to the to the blue it automatically adjusts why because I have auto color search on if I turn that off and begin to click this stays where it is if I turn the auto color search on and drag around and when I release the mouse whichever color I have selected it's going to give me various color similarities that I have stored in my library pretty fun isn't it alright so